Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to perform calculation using a measure in Power BI. So let's get started with this tutorial. I have a sample data set here which have units sold, unit price and unit cost. Let us calculate the uh, total sales amount and total uh, COGS amount that is cost of goods sold using the measure. So let's get started with this tutorial. I'm going to click on this new measure over here and once this appears over here let us now first calculate COGS which is cost of goods sold. So I'm going to use the function called as sum x because we want to perform the calculation at the row level because if we have to use any filters it will be helpful for us. Okay, so I'm going to use the first it's asking me to enter the table which is my 50,000 sales records here and then comma followed by an expression which is going to be our column. In this case let us first use uh, units sold. This is our quantity and then I'm going to say multiply by uh, unit cost that is going to give us the total cost of goods sold. I'm going to close the bracket here and press enter. Okay, so now if I bring in COGS over here, let me change this to table. Okay, it's giving me the total COGS amount. Now I can also bring in item type here, for example, bring this over here and get the total COGS here for by item type. Okay, likewise, let us also do the same thing for um, the profit. So, or total sales, okay, total sales is equals to sum X. Some x 50,000 sales record units sold multiplied by unit cost unit price. This is the price that we have sold for. Okay, close the bracket and press enter. I've already used this. Let's let's change this to total sales measure. So once this is created, let us drag this as well over here. So we now have cogs and we now have total sales measure. Now we can simply create another measure here. Let's click on new measure uh, and call this as let's say profit is equals to total sales measure minus COGS that we just created and press enter. We now have our profit. So if you pull this over here, we now have profits here by item type. Right. So that's it in this particular tutorial, guys. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.